and I did pay for this machine so we'll see how she does all right guys so let's start off first here's the art captain uh email address website hopefully y'all can see that warranty card once again your plug to go from 110 to 220 we got a chip and hammer and wire brush combo tool here we got some shiny cable one by 16 millimeters we got a small electrode holder here or stinger and now what we all been waiting for the welder arc 160 your on and off switch your 110 or actually it has a 220 plug on here most of the machines that I've seen have a 110 so we have the art captain arc 160 and we're gonna go through some of these modes and other menus on here but I want to start off first on MMA or stick welding by selecting the welding mode there on this one we can go up to 160 amps we are running on 220 volts and all the way down to 20 amps now if you press electrode selection that is not available in this menu and your function mode here that right there is your arc force you can go up to 60 your hot start same thing you can go all the way to 60 and that's pretty much it for MMA there so once you see the amperage on here again you can select your welding mode now you got TIG up here same thing, you can go up to 160 amps. Your electrode and your uh, function mode for your hot start does not work. Or it's not available for TIG. And we're going to press welding mode one more time. And that's synergic mode. Now we got a little arrow here pointing at some little boxes up there. And the first one here is 1.6 millimeters. That's about a 116th electrode. Uh, 2.0. 2.5 is about a 332 and 3.2 is about a 1 8 electrode we are gonna set it at 60 amps there for a 332 um, electrode we're gonna do some 60 13 60 11 70 18 now the function mode here for your uh, hot start or arc force is not available because the machine automatically selects it and if you need more amperage you can go up to 90 amps down to 60 for that size there now that was the first uh weld i did there um the arc did kind of go out on us a few times there. So I'm going to try to push it and see uh, how it performs. Kind of went off center there. Now I'm going to go back up. I'm going to push it.
We're gonna start off with a 6011. This is a, an AC rod. As you can see, this one had a few uh, stops in my arc there. The push was a lot better. Here's the 6013. 6013 drag and then push. Same thing for 7018. There we go. I think the 6013 here and the 7018 looks pretty good. All right, so the R Captain Arc 160 ran excellent in all my tests. It's a very compact machine, was able to run 6010. And like I mentioned earlier, not all machines can run 6010. This one did a decent job with it, especially for the size of the machine and the price point. Now, I will be giving away this machine and hopefully it goes to somebody that's new to welding or somebody that needs a welder. Now, once again, you can run this on 110, 220, up to 160 amps. And hopefully you all enjoyed the video, guys. I'll be posting more information on how I'm going to give it away and um, try to avoid all the, all the scammers out there from ruining the giveaway or making it difficult for me. But other than that, um, the machine worked excellent, and I'm pretty happy with the performance of it, especially for the size of the machine. So I'll see you in the next video, and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.